To draw the Lewis structure for FCN, cyanogen fluoride, I just like that name, we'll first count up the valence electrons. So for fluorine, it's in group 17, 7A. It has seven valence electrons, carbon has four, and then nitrogen has five. So we have a total of 16 valence electrons for the FCN Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center of our Lewis structure here, so that's the carbon. And then we'll put the fluorine here and the nitrogen here, just like it's written in the formula. So at this point, we have 16 valence electrons. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used four, so we have 12 more. And then we'll complete the octets on the outer atoms. And at this point, we've used all 16 valence electrons. So we can't add any more to the Lewis structure. What we can do is we can move valence electrons from the outside to form a double bond. And that'll help us to get an octet on each of the elements. The only problem is, which element should we use to move to the center here to get our triple bond or our double bond? It turns out that fluorine is a very electronegative element, and because of that, it's not going to let these electrons go as easily as something like nitrogen that's less electronegative. So what I'll do is I'll take electrons from the nitrogen to form the bond. So I put these two here, and now I have the same number, 16 valence electrons, but the nitrogen has two, four, six, eight, it has an octet, the fluorine still has an octet, and the carbon now has six valence electrons. We only need to move two more to the center. Let's take two more from the nitrogen and form a triple bond. I'll also move these two over here just to make it look a little nicer. So now each of the atoms has an octet, and we're using the 16 valence electrons that we were given for this compound. If you look at the formal charges, you'll see that the formal charges for each element in this compound, as written, they're zero. And that means that that's pretty good. That makes this a more favorable or likely structure than if we put the triple bond between the F and the C, we'd end up with a formal charge of plus two on the F, and we'd have some negative formal charges. And that would not be as good a structure as when we have them all at zero. So this is the Lewis structure for FCN, cyanogen fluoride, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.